name is Stephen with a V. I'm the captain of the Winston-Salem Police Department's Criminal Investigations Division. I want to share with you the limited information that I have about the scene that we're on so that uh, this information can be relayed out to your viewers. At 3.41 p.m., officers with the Winston-Salem Police Department were dispatched to the location behind me on a reported shooting. The responding officers located an adult male on scene that had suffered uh, at least one gunshot wound. That male was treated and shortly thereafter pronounced deceased. It is an adult male, but at this point in time, I'm not releasing the uh, male's name. Detectives with the Winston-Salem Police Department's Criminal Investigations Division have responded to the scene and have assumed the investigation. I want to stress we're less than an hour into the investigation, so the information that I'm giving you is preliminary. But preliminarily, uh, what we have learned is that several adult males who were customers of the business were in the parking lot of the business and an argument occurred. During that argument, a firearm was discharged. One of the adult males was struck, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, he has died as a result of those injuries. All of the adult males that were involved in this argument are currently with police personnel, so there's no reason for the surrounding community uh, here to be alarmed that there's, there's anyone on the loose related to this. Everyone is with police personnel at this point in time. We will be out here for an extended period of time tonight. There will be a large police presence here tonight as we investigate this crime. Because it is so early in the investigation, I am limited on what I can share. But that's our understanding of the events so far, and I hope that information will, will set some of the surrounding businesses at ease. And what do we know about to... the argument? What was the nature of it? What were they arguing about? That's one of the things we're going to attempt to determine. I don't have the answer to that yet because the investigation is so early. I don't have the answer to that other than uh, to know that everyone that was involved was an adult. Do you know what type of gun was used? A uh, handgun. Is the restaurant closed? Was the Haynes Mall closed at any point in time? Uh, the okay. restaurant, we will, uh, the restaurant is cooperating with us and the, the manager is cooperating. We will close the restaurant while we're on scene. The remainder of the mall will be open, though. The only thing that will be uh, under control for a while will be this particular restaurant. So was there a lockdown at any point? No, ma'am, not that I'm aware of. Okay. So for clarity, there is one victim who is deceased. How many other people are in your custody who were apparently part of this argument? Uh, I, I know there are multiple. I don't have the exact number, and I wouldn't term them in custody. They're with police right now, and, and interviews are underway so that we can find out what's happened. But everyone that was involved in it is with police right now. Can you say where the victim was shot on the body? I, I can't release that at this time. Though. So the suspect is in custody, just to be clear? A suspect, we are out with a, a, a person involved in it, yes. What's your message to the community? We're 48 hours removed from El Paso and Dayton. Obviously, those were multiple casualty situations. It's National Night Out. People are here back to school shopping. What am I supposed to tell my kids the next time they want to come to Haynes Mall? Um, Anytime children or, or adults, for that matter, are anywhere in public, be aware of their surroundings. I, I have no reason to believe this is anything other than a, an isolated, tragic event. But unfortunately, we have too many of these isolated, tragic events. And that's, that's part of what National Night Out represents, is trying to reduce this type of event from occurring. Uh, this will be the 15th homicide we've had in the city this year, if my, if my numbers are correct. That's in line with the numbers we had this time last year. So we are, we are, we've not seen an increase, but 15 is 15 too many. Now I see a very big uh, law enforcement presence. Is that regular protocol, or do these mass shootings have anything to do with the amount of presence here? This would be regular protocol. I, it, it, the detectives out here, because it's a business, we have more eyewitnesses than we would, for example, the residents. So I bring more detectives out just to try to expedite that and get those witnesses out. And you know, this happened in the middle of the day. I'm sure many people were out and about even in the parking lot. Do you have a lot of witnesses you're interviewing? Uh, we do. Uh, the, the business was fairly, uh, fairly busy at the time, so we do have a lot of witnesses we're interviewing. Yes, ma'am. And surveillance video reviewing? I'm going to, that's one of the things we're going to attempt to answer. We've not gone into the business yet to, to look at that aspect, but I, I would be optimistic in this area that surveillance video may, may come into play. All the people involved, to the best of your knowledge, customers or were there any employees involved? I have no information to indicate any employees are involved, no. 
Okay, I'm going to stop at this time because the information is so preliminary. Uh, later tonight, we'll update with a media release as more information comes available. Captain, one thing, did the shooting take place inside the restaurant or outside the restaurant? It, outside the restaurant in the parking lot. The victim was in the car when he was shot? No, sir. Oh, okay. no. Can you spell your name again for me, please? Yes, sir. My first name is Stephen with a V, and my last name is Tali. T is in Tom, O-L-L-I-E. We just got an update from Winston-Salem Police about the breaking news we've been staying on top of all afternoon. We have learned that a fight at BJ's Brew House between several adult males led to a deadly shooting. This is just outside of Haynes Mall. We do know that everyone involved was an adult male. They do have one person that they are speaking to as a possible suspect in custody. They are also speaking to other witnesses. No one involved was invo was a, an employee at the BJ's uh, restaurant. That restaurant has been shut down, heavy police presence out there. However, the mall is still open at this hour. We're going to continue to stay on top of exactly what unfolded here and give you more information as it becomes available into the WXI 12 newsroom.